Hello my friends and welcome to Maine's Mind. I have been working on a piece for an art show submission over the last week now. Um, so today I am going to show you how I made one of the doors that I'm using for this piece. This is just one piece to the whole painting but I plan on making a series of how to paint videos that will follow the progress of this painting. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. The concept I have and just for the record is I can't draw but for the record, um, I can paint better than I can draw. But the concept that I have in mind is something along the lines of this. I plan on doing a couple of doors on a larger canvas made out of small canvases. Um, and these doors right here, I'll have them hinged to the metal, I mean to the wood frame. I'll have them hinged to the wood frame. Uh, I plan to have like broken, um, like stucco with the brick showing through. Uh, this, because the theory, the, the theme I'm working on is folklore and fairy tale. So I'm thinking Rapunzel's hair coming down. I'm thinking of fairy sitting down here in the corner. I'm thinking Jack the Beanstalk, uh, Pinocchio with his nose coming out of the door. Um, I don't know that it'll come out exactly like that, but this is just kind of the concept that I have in mind. It always works better for me when I have a concept or an idea of where I want to go with this. Do, yes, this water is a little brown, but I'm not using it heavily. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna just dip in my water, in my water, my mineral spritz, just a dab. Kind of clean my brush up a little. And I'm gonna use this to kind of thin my paint out a little. See, it's wet. So I'm just thinning the paint a little, as you can see, because I don't want it on real thick, not this part. And then I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to start painting. i got to lay down a foundation color and I can break out the definition of the door afterwards. color on there I'm going to use this big flat brush it's dry it has no paint thinner it has no paint no nothing it's just a nice dry smooth flat brush <music> okay so for this one I'm going to need a smaller brush I'm going to go with something smaller uh, and thinner um, I just kind of got this thing full of paint, but this is, says it's a size two craft smart. Um, I just kind of use random brushes, but this one right here, if you can see, it's thin and it's flat. So this part right here, because I want it to be a wooden door, I want to give it the appearance of wood. And wood doesn't fit together smoothly, not usually. So I, mean, I want it to be an old door because I'm working on a fairy tale. So I'm just going to come around and kind of add in some. Some lines and I'm doing it from the side the skinny part
is reestablished. All right, now a door like this is gonna have wood going across to hold it in place, whether on the inside or the outside. If it's a wooden door, it's gonna have something going across either like this or and have some kind of wood going across it. So for this, if this is our wooden door, we need something that's gonna go across it this way. Remember, there has to be a shadow somewhere. I mean, unless the light's like shining directly on it, lighting everything up, there's got to be some kind of shadow. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to admit that shadows are not my strongest point. You know, some people are really good at faces. Some people are really good at animals. I am good at a lot of things, but I can too falter a bit when it comes to the shadows. Now... I know that if I want the light shining down this way, I'm going to have a shadow that comes underneath here and underneath here. Probably not here, but I might have a ridge that goes here, a slight ridge. So what I'm going to do, I'm clean my brush. I'm going to get a very small dab of black, not very much. Black is a very strong paint and it'll change the colors quite a bit. I'm going to come in and grab my little brush again. And then dab it in my fluid here, my mineral spritz. Dry it up a bit because I don't want it too wet. And I'm going to grab a dab of the blue. And I'm just going to mix it right here. Just enough that it's a slightly darker color. Now I don't want to ruin it by adding too much. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to... Draw a little line right underneath, and even that's probably too thick. I'm gonna draw a little line though. I'm gonna draw the same thing here, a little line right here. Get just a dab more, just a little line right here underneath. Okay, and this right here is gonna be my shadow. But, you know, shadow is never perfect. So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna grab another brush. shining down from the top we were going to have a lighter layer up here especially here so for this I'm going to grab this little skinny brush again and I'm going to dab it in the mineral spritz to get it a little wet and I have a little dot of white I don't know if you can see it I have a little dot of white right here and I'm just going to tap it in there just a little not very much paint at all. And I'm just gonna come along the top here. And I'm just gonna draw a little white line. And same thing up here, little white line. Okay, and I could do it up here if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to because theoretically that would have All right, so see now this right here we don't want it thick And again, we're gonna grab this nice little dry brush here And we're just gonna run this over it To kind of smudge it in a bit 
okay and I'm not gonna drag this one down because the light is sitting right at the top of that all right and there we go we got ourselves the beginning of an old door now I could do several things for a door handle if I wanted to um, some used to have knobs some used to have hinges I think for the sake of this door I'm just going to do a let me see this a different brush that's got a little bit thinner of a hat uh, something a little pointed okay so I'm gonna wet it a little and the knocker would be made out of steel so I am going to grab just a little bit of black here and I think I want a round knocker a round handle so I'm just gonna draw because I I have to imagine that it's got to have something to cling on to. And then it's just going to be a round knob. Okay, but it can't just be round. So, I mean, that's great. It's a nice little black knocker right there, but it's not enough. It's just a flat two-dimensional thing. So if the light's shining down this way, there's going to be a dab of lighting. You get a little less paint. There's going to be just a dab of lighting up here across the top of it. And it's going to shine down in here like this. Something like that. The lighting is the biggest thing. And like I said, I'm not the best with the lighting, but I know the basics of the lighting. My problem will be when I paint the rest of this painting maintaining the lighting in this same angle i'll start off with lighting going this way and the next thing you know i'll have lighting going in different directions but for me there's my door handle and it's a little bit lighter here so that gives it some three dimension i'm just going to add a little bit more white to make it a little bit more lighted just to give it a little bit more dimension Okay, and let's say that they had iron. Let me just put three little like, screws on it. Boom. Okay, and I'm done. Okay, so I hope you all found this video helpful. Stay tuned for a sneak peek of the completed painting. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to follow along with the painting's progress. See you next time.